I mean, I haven't been to sleep yet, but it's all holding up okay. So why don't we do something fun? I don't want to go to bed yet. Why don't we, okay, let's drink a little, let's smoke a little, and then I'll read your cards. I have them. Let's see, let's see. Oh, I'm just so excited about everything. You know, life is working out. I feel like I'm in such a good place where people are really understanding exactly who I am and how I am and they're happy for it and they're letting me be how I wanna be, you know? Sometimes it feels like the other shoe is gonna drop, but I try not to let that bother me. I try to have an open heart and say what I mean and see if that keeps things cool. Now, this is the Queen of Cups and the King of Swords. And what they're saying to you is that, like me, you have to open your heart and you have to say things how they are. And try to have a little fun. I mean, nothing is guaranteed. Who knows which one of us will be here tomorrow. Doesn't it feel like there are a million opportunities coming into your life right now? Doesn't it feel like even the people who've never understood you or supported you are starting to come around to your side? Doesn't it feel like maybe for the first time in a long time things could actually work out? Yeah, I feel that too. And you know what? All it requires is a little growth and a little risk and a little getting back to who you are. The Ace of Swords. What's that thinking you need to change? Where are you still stuck on an old version of yourself? What's the risk you have to take to get out of that? Are you strong enough to see yourself in a different light? Are you allowed to be more new, better than you used to be? Or maybe just good enough to be yourself again? you want to be yourself you're smart you're caring you're funny your look is good you're beautiful to look at you have more style than everybody else combined people like you on top of all that oh, sometimes I wish I didn't need people to like me quite so much doesn't it sometimes feel like people are just going to turn against you and hate you? I don't know about you, but sometimes it keeps me up at night. What if everyone you knew woke up tomorrow and hated you? What if they hated you so much that they wanted to hurt you? What if you woke up tomorrow and it didn't matter how much style you have? but we don't need to think about stuff like that. Now it's time to have fun. And it's time to look at these cards. Like I always tell you, the cards do not lie. Well, don't let it get you down. There's nothing to be serious about. It's just a little bit of fun.
10 plus. Why would anyone ever be upset with you? <clears throat> sure, sometimes you lose sight of the fact that other people are going through a lot. Sure, sometimes it's hard for you to see past the circumference of yourself. But is that a crime? Shouldn't everyone be like that? Luck is on your side, is what the Wheel of Fortune says. So don't worry anymore. I told you it would all work out okay. You know how I know? Because it always does. Oh, you can go. Hi, Libra. Welcome to the second part of your reading. Oh, man. Marie Antoinette is so appropriate according to your astrology. Okay, let's get into it. So, first up. The Queen of Cups. Everyone is very attracted to you. That's nothing new, okay? But I feel like there's so many people attracted to you right now that you can't help but also be attracted back. And that's not a bad thing. But just keep in mind that anything that begins right now, astrologically, it has slim chances of lasting. I think anything that you get into right now will just be, whether it's professional or personal, will just be a way to cement your departure from where you've been and draw a line in the sand. From here, I move forward. And that moving forward, Three of Wands, might be um, exemplified through a relationship. It could be a work project. It could be you taking a very serious and somber look at your work life and deciding that you want to go in a new direction that suits your morality more if you decide that is what you want and there is this extreme change of direction the universe supports you in fact supports you right away as soon as you make up your mind, an opportunity will come along cementing for you that you've made the right choice. Now, the reason I say that your costume is so appropriate, it's not just because of the beauty and the glamour and the playfulness, but also there was a moment when Marie Antoinette could have turned things around, not just for herself, but for her country. A moment where she could have seen through the haze of excess and had some rational thought of what needed to be done to help those that were temporarily at a disadvantage financially. If she had taken some time and taken a serious, somber look at the matter, that wouldn't mean that she couldn't still have fun and that she couldn't still be playful and beautiful, etc. It would just mean that she had realized that you can be both. You can be playful and appear frivolous and almost uh, flighty, <laughs> attractive, unattainable, beautiful. You can be all of those things 
and still be very rational and make hard decisions. You are coming to a phase in your life, regardless of your age, where you're beginning to really enjoy decision making and the finality that they imply. Because you have, for the most part, been such a waffler. <laughs> Nobody likes to vacillate like the Libras. But you're not doing that, are you? Something has shocked you or set you straight. And now you're loving making decisions. Now, if you have kids, this may be a time where someone tries to use them against you or they know that's your weak point and, you know, they kind of press. So just be aware of that. Around the 19th, you have an almost disturbing level of reality hit you all at once. What you're doing, what others are doing, everything becomes crystal clear. And it's most jarring because until then, you can't really see what's going on. You don't really know what you look like from the outside right now. On the 19th, you get a very good look. And then you decide for yourself, is that who you are and who you wanna be? Everything right now is about, do I want to keep doing this when I'm older? Will I have the patience, the wherewithal, the power to do this? Whether that this is a person, especially if you've been with them for a while, those of you who've been in a long lasting relationship, the justice card there, your card, you may feel wonderment. Am I allowed to do this? But some things don't work anymore. And November, especially starting on the 6th, are, eh, it's easy to find a way out. If it doesn't work, it will either be transmuted in Scorpio season or discarded in Sagittarius season. So, it's also important right now any money that you get that you keep really good track of it save for your taxes there's a lot of money here that will feel like a bonus ace of swords wheel of fortune but don't blow it like it's a bonus or don't have a frivolous attitude towards it just because it comes in easily invest it in something okay Good. Now, aside from that, we've done the astrology, we, we've shuffled the cards, right? We've done the character, we shuffled the cards, we've done the astrology. Now I'm just going to look at them. I used to do this when I first started the channel, and I know a lot of people really liked it. And I do this a lot in my personal readings, and I thought you might enjoy it. So here we go. And if you like it, let me know, and I'll start doing it for all the videos. Okay. If you feel like there's someone who had to leave your life in order for you to comp really be yourself, especially if you're a Libra rising, if you felt like someone who was quite dominating had to leave your life in order for you to flourish and bloom and now you feel like you're doing so and you're attracting all the good things, you're absolutely right. They will try to reach out again 
and they will try to do so in a diminished form, which will make you think that maybe they're not going to be that same way again, but they will be that same way. And what is the way that they are? They're very emotionally overpowering and manipulative and like low key, very controlling and abusive with it. So just keep your distance. The more distance you create between those who would like to mm, like possess you, ew, the more distance you create between people like that and yourself, the, just think of it this way. You can run towards a person like that or you can run towards the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune towards your success. Okay? Nothing to weigh here. There's nothing to vacillate about. I hope you realize that. Good. Good? Good. I love you, love you. The extended is on Patreon. It's on Vimeo. There is an extended PayPal instant link below. There's a cameo link where you can book a personal reading for yourself or you can get tickets for the November 19th event. There are rings for sale, there's merchandise for sale, and there's a daily horoscope on Instagram. I love you, love you, love you. I'll see you in the extended right now.